Good morning. And welcome to the 2013 Target Zero Partners meeting. As you look around this room, I'm actually uh, kind of a little overwhelmed. And I am inspired by the breadth and the uh, variety of disciplines that are here today. When you look from 1999 to 2002, our fatality picture was going like this. It peaked in 2002 at 658. Since then, the plan, the innovations, things we've done, we've seen nothing but a downward trend. So can we make differences? Absolutely. Is it up to us? Absolutely. And that's what I think is amazing to see here in this room. Many thought back in 2000 when Washington State became the first state to say that the loss of one life was too many, that we were crazy. Washington State was a leader then, continues to be a great leader now. Your work is absolutely critical and essential to this great body of work. For this is a noble cause, one that we all should be very proud of, for we're making history in terms of the number of lives that we're saving. When we talk about foundations of change, we talk about vision, that vision ultimately is one of those, this is what we aspire to be. This is where we want to be. And if you never ever work towards that, you never get to that point. We're excited today. Uh, we're excited about uh, all the things we're gonna be able to do and accomplish. But as we kind of just look at this uh, little plan of foundation for change, it is the structure and process for success. Because I know with all of us together and the collective unity our insanity can become a reality. So here the Washington uh, Strategic Highway Safety Plan Partners Meeting is focusing on the rewrite. Every three years we do a rewrite of our Strategic Highway Safety Plan. Ours we've titled Target Zero. We started that in 2000, uh, focusing on, instead of just setting goals to reduce by 50%, is looking at ultimate, ultimately for our goal by 2030 is having zero deaths and zero serious injuries. So what we want to do is the strategies that are there, if you've got comments on them, if they're working, if they're not working, and then what, what's missing. And we want to capture your comments here. Today, as you can see the people around the room and behind me, they're in specific stations addressing certain programs and addressing what we do differently or even build upon as we have right now in existing programs. So they're in stations, they go for about 10 minutes in each station, and the group gets to talk about uh, maybe some ideas, some maybe you know, the uh, proven strategies or countermeasures that they want to be able to see us employ. So now they get to go from all around the whole room being able to address those things and having input on the overall program and the output of our strategic highway safety plan. We really need your creative ideas on this one. To set up a whole system, you know, to get people in bars besides bartenders and the people drinking that can corral people. I call them bar brokers. They teamed up with McDonald's when an officer stopped a vehicle for a violation if the kids in the back seat properly seat belted in and everything. The parent got a happy meal for the kid for doing it right. We're facilitating the distracted and drowsy drivers functions in support of the new Target Zero plan. And uh, as the groups are coming in, they're sharing their ideas with us, a lot of ideas that we haven't heard about. And uh, we're very excited about some of the new ideas we're seeing. This gets us a chance, especially us folks that, that don't, aren't out there where the rubber meets the road all the time. These people are actually doing projects, doing programs, meeting people, seeing people at the local level and the regional level. So this gives us a chance to hear what the pros are saying and what they want from us, what they want in a plan. You're going to get officers out there that don't understand why these laws have been enacted. If, if they don't have a reason to enforce it, they're not going to. Okay, I'll have you wrap it up and change stations. We're doing traffic data systems, EMS, and trauma systems. And we're getting a really good mix of strategies that we already have that people are implementing, um, strategies that aren't working so well that we already have that we can go back and take a second look at. And then as you can see, we've got four pages of new ideas already. This is our really our effort to pull together stakeholders from around the state and to ensure that we're pulling the best ideas from private, public, nonprofit, state and local government to ensure that Target Zero becomes reality. And do you use it in this version or online? 
doesn't seem like it's done on that end, I guess. There might be another way to subtly uh, provide some of that influence in, in, into a young child. This, this plan is really all about teamwork and about working together and pulling in all the different um, expertise and all the different disciplines. Because we've all got to work together to make Target Zero happen. And I would watch verbiage. I would take down every sign that has .08 it's per se, but you know that, that sends the message I've got up to 0.08. This is an amazing experience. I don't know if anywhere in the country that you get this kind of support. I have talked to multiple peers uh, around the country and they're amazed that we can get more than 10 people at a meeting. And so when you have 180 uh, partners at a meeting uh, for one full day dedicated for traffic safety, this is a very impressive uh, array of people all participating together and being able to speak the same language.